It was during the third season of Gold Rush when Mitch Blaschke made his debut on the show. He soon established himself as an integral member of the squad. Hello everyone, welcome back to my Gold Rush channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Even though his remarkable repairing skills are extremely important, the show tends to emphasize them to the point where each repair becomes a life-or-death situation. The audience are kept on the edge of their seats by this exaggeration, which shows mining as a never-ending adventure in which activities that are considered to be mundane are converted into epic feats. As a result of the emphasis placed on Mitch's mechanical problems, the mundane aspects of mining are frequently obscured, creating the impression of a perpetual emergency that may not be entirely consistent with the actual situation. Using their expertise, the producers construct episodes that place a strong emphasis on danger and drama. This ensures that viewers continue to be interested in the show and interpret gold mining as a sequence of dramatic challenges and victories. Behind this picture, however, a significant portion of the mining labor consists of extended periods of regular tasks and maintenance, with Mitch being responsible for resolving any mechanical faults that may arise. In order to appeal to the audience's passion for action and finding solutions to problems, the show places a significant amount of emphasis on these moments. Additionally, it serves to reinforce Mitch's position as an essential member of the mining team and a star of the show. Mitch was exposed to the world of machinery at a young age and has known it all his life. As a means of providing for his passion for kart racing, he began working in a collision repair shop when he was just 14 years old. This early introduction to the workforce was challenging, displaying a young boy navigating through a rigorous environment, most of the time driven by the necessity of financial support rather than by his own free will. Because of his self-taught mechanical talents, the Hoffman crew found him to be an intriguing asset. During the filming of their third season, they needed someone who was capable of hauling heavy equipment to their mining location. Given Mitch's shown capabilities, he was the best candidate for the position. Nevertheless, the crew's interest in Mitch was not exclusively based on his mechanical abilities. They also regarded him as a potential new face for the show, which would bring youthful energy and a struggle that was relevant into their narrative. By making this move, Mitch's history and ability were gently exploited for the sake of providing entertainment. With Mitch's increasing involvement in the show, he encountered a multitude of challenges. Not only did he have to deal with the technical requirements of his responsibilities, but he also had to adjust to the expectations that come with being on television. With each piece of machinery that he repaired and each problem that he addressed on camera, he added layers to his on-screen identity, making him into a symbol of the tenacity and dedication that is characteristic of young athletes. While Mitch was working behind the scenes, his life consisted of a perpetual balancing act between his own personal goals and the requirements of the show. There was a toll taken by the long hours and intense physical effort, but these features were frequently overlooked by the underlying concept adventure and discovery that was pushed by the show. In order to gloss over the genuine challenges that were involved, the real obstacles, such as managing breakdowns under time limitations, or troubleshooting in harsh weather, were presented as part of the exciting quest for gold without being taken into consideration. Despite the fact that Mitch's story was presented as a story about opportunities and adventures, it also echoed a larger narrative about the entertainment industry's tendency to exploit young talent. His experience brought to light the fact that reality television has the potential to blur the borders between true skill development and the commercialization of personal stories for ratings purposes. When Gold Rush discovered that Mitch had a natural talent for repairing machinery, they appointed him to the position of full-time mechanic almost immediately. This initial work proved to be profitable for Mitch, as he soon joined Todd Hoffman on an exciting trip to Vienna, 
where he was tempted by tales of abundant gold. Mitch's career path took a big turn in the fifth season when he made the decision to collaborate with Parker Schnabel. However, the hope of easy riches in South America quickly faded away, and Mitch ended up joining forces with Parker Schnabel. With Schnabel at the helm, Mitch underwent a transformation into a mining operation that was more focused and driven. Schnabel's youthful energy and strong emphasis on maximizing gold production were the driving forces behind this transformation. Mitch's responsibilities broadened. He was no longer only responsible for ensuring that devices functioned properly. He was engaged in a high-pressure environment where the pressure to deliver was great, and he established himself as an essential component to the success of the business. When this transition occurred, it was not just a change of supervisors, rather, it was a full overhaul in the pace and pressure of the work. The circumstances of employment were more difficult, the expectations were higher, and the possible gains were larger, yet these were accompanied with increased demands on both the physical and mental fronts. Working with Schnabel brought to light the harsh realities of the gold mining industry. The search for prosperity did not consist solely of digging up the ground. Rather, it required labor that was both strenuous and exhausting. The extensive mechanical expertise that Mitch possessed had become indispensable, and it had a considerable impact on the results of mining ventures. In a field where the difference between success and failure is razor thin, his presence on Schnabel's team highlighted the significance of skill and endurance in order to achieve success. In this place, fortunes might change in an instant, and the hard-fought wins in mining were not just about finding gold, rather, they were about conquering the day-to-day -day trials that the harsh mining life brought. Mitch had reached a level of expertise that allowed him to manage the intricate apparatus that was necessary for gold mining. He did not consider his interest in mechanics to be merely a pastime. Rather, it was an essential component of his career strategy that enabled him to secure a position in the business that was non-negotiable. The goal of his passion to excel went beyond ordinary effort. It was a premeditated move to make himself indispensable, ensuring that his presence was essential for the success of the operation. His profits, which amounted to a substantial $300,000 per season, were not only a reflection of his mechanical expertise, but also of his astute understanding of the dynamics of reality television, which is a medium in which difficult and labor-intensive positions are sometimes glamorized for the purpose of entertainment. In reality television, legitimate labor is transformed into a spectacle, and Mitch's function and remuneration are great instances of how this transformation occurs. Reality TV draws viewers into a narrative that glorifies the tenacious professionalism and personal successes of individuals like Mitch who experience difficult situations. Mitch's regular interactions with the machinery, his ability to troubleshoot under duress, and his constant preparedness to solve mechanical faults not only ensured that the gold mining operation ran efficiently, but they also contributed to a bigger narrative. This narrative, which was meticulously crafted for the audience, brought to light the excitement and difficulties of the gold mining industry, while simultaneously putting an emphasis on the human element, specifically the achievements of characters such as Mitch who are portrayed as heroes in their respective fields. The purpose of his participation in the show was not limited to the upkeep of the apparatus, rather, he played a crucial role in the development of a narrative that was appealing to an audience that was attracted by the combination of actual risk and strategic achievements. The fact that Mitch earns an additional $15,000 to $20,000 per episode draws attention to the fact that he plays an important part in the mining operations and that he is becoming increasingly popular as a television personality. Mitch has been able to amass a higher income over the course of his life by deftly utilizing his down-to-earth, charming personality, which is something that would make many people envious. His compensation increases with each new season, 
which coincides with the increased drama that is intended to keep fans in the show. According to recent reports, his net worth is reportedly close to $1 million, which is a clear indication of how valuable the combination of fame and business can be in the world of reality television. This particular approach, in which personal appeal can be turned into a profitable business, and each episode that is filmed adds to one's wealth, is an excellent illustration of the transformation of television from a purely entertaining medium into a lucrative business. Mitch's expanding bank balance is a product of his financial knowledge as much as it is of his public attraction. His public allure is a significant factor. Many things about the dynamics of audience engagement and the financial mechanics that are going on behind the scenes may be gleaned from the manner in which he manages to keep his relatability while simultaneously raking in cash. The key is to become an expert in the game of audience retention and monetization, where each and every happy and sad moment captured on camera has the potential to add another dollar to the bank account. At the same time that this is a reflection of Mitch's individual success, it is also a reflection of the larger trend in the entertainment industry, which is that financial gains are closely related to the marketability of a persona. The narrative of his life demonstrates how reality TV stars can evolve into savvy business people who are able to handle the intricate relationship that exists between their public persona and their private riches. A bigger story of reality television as a fruitful place for people who can meld charisma with business savvy is highlighted by Mitch's continued accumulation of money, which helps to reinforce this larger narrative. The substantial fortune that Mitch has earned from his acting profession is only one facet of his personality. He is not just an actor, but he is also passionately interested about everything that has to do with mechanics. His huge collection, which includes a wide variety of motorbikes, dirt bikes, and quads, is more than just a demonstration of his wealth. It is an essential component of who he is. For some people, these could appear to be frivolous toys, or even just accessories that are reserved for the wealthy. Those who are closer to Mitch, on the other hand, are aware that these devices provide him with a sense of relief and a reprieve from the unrelenting scrutiny that is associated with public life. The story of Mitch serves as a harsh reminder of how fast the dazzling lights of celebrity may obscure the genuine pleasures that life has to offer. It is a story about transformation, not just of a mechanic becoming a celebrity, but also of a devoted professional becoming a broadcast character, eternally racing, forever performing, in order to stay in the spotlight that is so difficult to come by. In the stories that are told about the gold rush, the gold miner, who is frequently praised as a paragon of passion and resiliency, is actually just going to fit into a well-worn template. He's acknowledged for bringing a distinctive vitality to his work, which is in addition to the fact that his role involves maintaining machinery. However, this representation is very traditional, dressing up the familiar character of the tough explorer with a contemporary twist. What is frequently referred to as his continuing learning appears to be more a matter of simply keeping up with the unrelenting obstacles and constant surprises that come with working in the demanding mining environment. It is common practice to romanticize his contributions, elevating what is, at its core, a plain effort to a grandiose level. In spite of the fact that his day-to-day -day activities consist of laborious and repetitive chores such as digging and the normal maintenance of equipment, these activities are portrayed as heroic exploits. Because of this glorification, the basic truth of his profession is sometimes overlooked and the collective effort of a large number of other people working in the sector, whose tales are not recognized, is quietly ignored. In such narratives, the miner is not merely shown as a worker, rather, he is portrayed as a representation of the unyielding human spirit. The purpose of these narratives is not so much to precisely portray the complexity of gold mining as they are to inspire and impress the audience. 
Let us examine the ways in which Mitch's personal experience is connected to the mining industry as a whole.